Hey guys, welcome to another review. This time I'm reviewing a blind bag walking dead dog tag set. And as you can see, my lovely assistant here is showing you towards it. Okay, now get out of here, Stubby. Okay, now, um, I got these at the 99 cent store and it's a buck 99. I actually only got one right now. Previously I got a few others, but I opened them and didn't review them. So anyway, I'm going to be reviewing these and these are a few of our options here. I kind of would like a Daryl one. Michonne would be cool. I, I don't really want a walker because, yeah. Okay, on the back it doesn't really have anything to say about it. It says there's 24 dog tags to collect. So, I guess that means it's pretty likely that you could get a Daryl, which would be sweet. Okay, it, mine's heavy, so it might be one of those rare ones. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let me pull out my crap scissors here. Uh, I should have brought a real pair of scissors. There we go. Okay, now let's see what we got here. Let's dump out the contents and oh yeah. Oh wow. Look at that guys. I got Otis costume dog tag. Oh yeah, it's one of those thick ones so. Uh, the way I figured that it might be one of those is because it, you could feel the thickness in there. But uh, I figured it would be one of those walker ones because I had previously gotten uh, Walker one here. Yeah, so, see that? Let's get close up here. Yeah, but I don't really like the walking, this Walker's one, because that's just any Walker. This is a character, and that makes it a little more special. And even though Otis wasn't in it much, he, I think he was pretty memorable, because they did some stuff. Now, uh, you do get quite a few things here for, um your money since this was only two bucks you get a d-ring so you could like take this off the chain and just like hang it on your pant belt or something or just use it on anything but it also says the walking dead on it uh... yeah so it's pretty cool it's uh... not for climbing so if you were planning on doing mountain climbing and just buying fifty of these then you're just a cheap jerk that yeah Ugh, no and then you could use this to put it on like a keychain, I suppose. Just hook it in there. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to open up the dog tag part here. And let's get a good look at this rare fabric. Okay, let's see what it says here. Congratulations, authentic costume material worn by Pruitt Taylor Vince as Otis in AMC's The Walking Dead Season 2. This is C7 of 10. Season 2 update set costume tag. 2013 AMC. Uh, it's a nice fabric. I guess that's like what? His jeans? Yeah, I mean, let me get some focus here. My camera's a little blurry today for some reason. Maybe it's the lighting. But yeah, it's uh, definitely some sort of jean like fabric. I find it weird that they just like take swatches of clothing and sell them to people. I, it seems like you would get more if you just... Come on, camera, give me a little focus here. Yeah, it seems like you would get more if you just, uh... Sold the whole costume, right? I don't know. But anyway, this goes around your neck, and you can look like, uh... It's kind of like a necklace, but it's a man-type necklace. You can be real manly and wear this necklace, I guarantee you. Except for, I don't know, wearing an Otis necklace wouldn't be all that great. I, I, in fact, probably would be better to just go around wearing the walkers one because people would be like, oh man, what's that? Well, it's from a character that died in a couple of episodes. He was barely in it. Anyway. Um, so this is the one option that you can have. Hit it on the chain, which is pretty long and could fit on pretty much any neck, I'd suppose. I don't know, maybe, maybe if you don't have a human-sized neck. Maybe if you're trying to put it on your... Elephant? Pet elephant? Yeah. I could see that not working, but okay. So you just unconnect that, and now this is a separate piece here, and you take your ring here, and you can start out your own keychain by uh, brute force, apparently. I hate putting these things in. There we go. And just swing that around there, and yay! You have a keychain dog tag thing. So put your keys on the other end, and you can be like, Hey guys, what's up? Oh, did I mention 
I have some authentic material from a character from The Walking Dead, a bit character. Well, I suppose that's better than having from a zombie that was, or a walker that was in there for five seconds. Yeah. But anyway. I don't know. If I, if I, I kind of would rather have a regular one like just Daryl over having a co costume one that's Otis. I, I don't know. Okay, now here's the D-ring, and let's see the display option there. Um, that's not going to work. I guess you have to put it on here first to connect it to the D-ring. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't come with any instructions for this, so I'm going to wing it. Okay, yeah. And then you can just hook that into there, and then yay. You've got your D-ring sort of keychain thing. Yeah, just hook that to your pants, put your keys on here, and then carry this with you in case you feel like just going necklace mode. Man, there's so many different options here. Anyway, let's take a look at the Walking Dead Dog Tags chest checklist. Checklist by Bull's Eye Toy. Uh, whoa, what's this? Hey, you also get stickers. Wow. Okay, this is S20 of 24. And this sticker is of a really gruesome walker. Now, I've gotten these before, and what I usually do with them is I just stick them on my uh, dresser. It looks pretty cool. I've got a Shane one up there. Got a couple of other walkers. This one is definitely going up there because this is a pretty nice one. Looks like the Bicycle Girl zombie, but I know it's not. They all look pretty similar when they've got that rotted off mouth and the disgusting eyeballs. Okay. Now let's look at the checklist here. Oh, poor Glenn. I, we we still don't know what happened to Glenn. Okay, um... Yeah, uh, I've got Lori. I've got Carol here. I've got... Nothing else here. Everything else I don't have. Um, of all of these, I'd probably want... Hmm. That Rick one with the hat there? That would be pretty sweet. Or that Daryl. I'd kind of want uh, that Michonne one, but I don't, that's not a very good picture. It's kind of just bland. If it was her in an action pose, that would be amazing. Um, Andrea, I have poor Sap who got that one was probably like, ah, darn it, ah, crap. Well, probably the same reaction that I got for getting Lori. Ugh. Well, you can check them off if you get them, I guess. You could, you'd probably have to check over the thing. Uh, being a checklist doesn't really work unless you have check mark box there. Yeah. But, of course, this does not show any of the costume tags, so I guess you wouldn't know what costume tags you can get. Here's a few. Uh, series 1 Rick, I guess. C1 Rick, C2 Walker, C3 Dale, C4 Andrea, C5 Walker, C6 Carl, C7 Otis. That's the one I got. Yep, and then... C8 Walker, and then C9 Maggie, C10 Glenn. So I could have gotten Maggie, Glenn, Walker, Carl, Andrea, Rick, or Dale. All of those would have been better than Otis. But anyway, I guess it's probably better than getting a regular one. I mean, this is something special, right? I could probably sell it for a whole dollar. Yeah, almost get half my money back. Okay. Yep, so that's pretty much all I got to show you guys for this. You get a checklist, which is really nice. You get a sticker. You get the chain for making it a dog tag. A bunch of plastic things to store it in, I guess. And then you get the D-ring, the, I guess, keychain loop there, and the dog tag itself. So for $2, go down to your 99 cent store, pick them up if you definitely want them. But if you are iffy about this, I would only do it, I would only get them myself if they were $2. So, yeah, if you want to, if you don't have a 99 cent store near you, don't buy, think about buying these, honestly. I wouldn't waste my money on it, unless it's some sort of really fashion type thing that you were going for. Other than that, eh, yeah. Well, I'll see you guys in the next review, probably, let's see, I don't know what I'm going to be reviewing next. You guys will, though. It's future me. Okay. See you guys then. Love you guys. Peace.